Hey everyone, this is Nick, and I'm playing some Grand Theft Auto 4 here again. Uh, making a new video here, so gonna show off some cool mods. First thing you can obviously see is uh, Nico is no longer with us. I've got uh, Splinter Cell mod here. There's also some weird texture pop-in going on. Um, it partially has to do with wraps and the fact that I have some uh, really high quality mods in, in the background here, so... Um, bear with me for a bit. It, the, the texture pop-in doesn't usually happen when I'm not recording. Anyway, um, so a few things to show off here. My old video, the Grand Theft Auto Realistic Mods, one's got over a million views and I figured, well, you know, it's about time I post something new. So, yeah, this is it. Um, so with the Splinter Cell mod comes a few other things. So there's a Killer Techniques fighting mod. Uh, so if I find this pedestrian here, start fighting him. All of the, uh, oh, what the fuck? Okay, um, that wasn't expected, but okay, cop will finish him off. Nope, never mind. Maybe I can just burn him. There we go. Yeah, um, you have special powers. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Oh, except not get hit by freaking taxis. For that, I will um, avenge myself here. And you're noticing the low polygon textures here, the low quality textures. I have a sword here so I can mess things up. Um, what else to show? Oh yeah, of course, the uh, the vehicles here. So, I have a vehicle pack that's... I'm gonna argue it doesn't look as nice as the other pack that I used to have, but uh, the cars are more realistic in the sense that these are the kind of cars you may see around the city. They're not just all luxury cars and like $100,000 and up there. So, you know, like a Subaru STI, I mean, there's plenty of those around. Uh, the first person mod as well, so, I mean, cars look nice on the inside. No, the steering wheels do not turn, but at least your hands look like they're gripping the steering wheel for a change, which is nice. The person who modded these took, uh, took care. You, the thing you see in the front here is my sword. Um, my character model carries it, so you can't really avoid it. It's gonna pop up there a few times. But yeah, um, first person mod also applies in your character model as well, so can run around and it's like Skyrim or Oblivion or Mirror's Edge, whichever you want. There's a little bit of a glitchiness to it because um, my character has the trident goggles on his forehead, so those kind of get in the way when running. If you're running with just a regular player model, uh, you'll never notice it. But there's plenty of other things to do, so with the Killer Techniques pack I can go up to this guy here and say... Um, it's easier if someone's standing still. Yeah, plant a dart in their neck, and then they sort of twitch all over the ground and stuff. Okay, this guy doesn't like twitching, but he gave me his money, which is nice. There we go. There we go, now we got a twitcher. He's breakdancing. Yeah, you do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you go. Um, the lighting's a little bit messed up. I turn down this, um, what the, what's it called? Emergency lighting system mod. Um, I find it's kind of annoying at times. Like, it looks nice at certain times of the day, but then you get taxis that drive by and the little lit up advertisement things above them uh, are, like, bright like the sun, which shouldn't happen. I don't know if it has to do with the version of GTA I'm running or not. Um, hard to say. What else? Oh yeah, I can take bricks out from my pocket and chuck them at people. Take that. Yeah, fight me, I dare you. I didn't know a person could bleed that much, but... Yeah. Cool thing too about the sword, um, if I take... Let's see, car spawning, and if I take a bike... Let's say the NRG 900 which is now a Suzuki GSX-R. Really cool bike. Doesn't handle very well in the game, but anyway. Um, feels like it weighs nothing and the back end just lifts up whenever it feels like that. But I can also take the sword and attack things with it, so. Yeah.
The reason I'm not crashing off my bike either is because I have god mode on, so if I were to turn it off, I would fly off the bike. Yeah, the bike just handles really poorly. I'm not a fan of it. Actually, pretty much all the bikes in this pack are pretty poor in terms of handling. The cars, however, are nice. Um, there are plenty of videos, I think, that show off this car pack. It's called the New York City Car Pack, and wow, I'm getting really bad texture pop in here. It sucks because I really want to show off how nice the mods look, but at the same time, it uh, it does this to me. In any case, when the textures aren't just loading in, you can see how nice everything else looks. I have a um, an ENB mod installed, which is sort of a visual filter. It's like Ice Enhancer, but I was having issues with Ice Enhancer to begin with. The latest version, which was 2.0, uh, it doesn't work well with the latest patch of Grand Theft Auto, and I don't like downgrading because half the mods I have work better with the latest patch than they do with the older ones. Um, so yeah, the modding scene is kind of polarized over what version you should be using. If you want to play online, you have to have the latest patch. There's no other way around it. Um, there's other things you can do too. Uh, oh yeah, you can make your guy flip. It's kind of glitchy though. But it's still kind of fun around to, to mess, you know, hop on cars. You can also backflip if you're doing it from a standstill. Like that. You can have your character just do a roll, too. He just survived a sword swing, but whatever. And he just walks it off like nothing. Again, wow. Looks like a superhuman. Wow, you just don't die, do you? There, that'll finish you off. So, yeah, um, more texture popping. Sorry about that. I don't know what else to really show here other than maybe some of the cars. Like, if we take the Comet here, I forget what car it is. It's a Porsche 911. It looks really nice, though. You can see how the reflections work in the lighting. It looks pretty good from the inside. Whoops, it's from the back of my head. But the inside's modeled really nicely too. The rest of the city, not so much right now, because it's going to pop in. I even have a faster hard drive. I went and sprung for a 1 terabyte uh, Velociraptor hard drive. Uh, you know, 10,000 RPM speed, and it's got twice the write speed of my other hard drive, but still, um, I can't get rid of the texture popping. It's much better than it used to be, but it's still a, a video related issue, and the game itself is not very well optimized for PC. Even if you have like the, the latest and greatest video card, you're still going to run into this kind of texture pop and stuff. My car. Oh. Well, thankfully there's no damage. Oh, there's damage to the car. I, did, uh, I didn't turn the car god mode on. So now you can sort of see the crumple physics. I can maybe show those off too. Oh, this car is out of control. That's actually nice too because they changed the handling on the cars. So they don't handle necessarily more realistically, but they, uh, they definitely drive faster than the other ones. They're not limited in terms of speed. Wow, I went flying there. Let's see if I can eventually make it back to my car and see what it looked like. Let's turn off the stupid trainer menu there. Yeah, that menu is called the Simple Native Trainer, so use that to. That's not the, my car. This is my car. So yeah, you can sort of see the damage done to it. If it still runs, I'll back it up. And it starts, but one of the wheels is stuck. So I mean, good car collision models anyway, <laughs> it's kind of cool. And the fighting stuff, of course. So you know how you have the counter moves that you can do when fighting people? Um, you can do the same things just by normally attacking or targeting someone. And if you take a knife too, I believe you can throw them. So if I go under weapons here... Uh, knife. Pull out my knife and then I just chuck it at this guy. Okay, I totally missed there. Sometimes that does happen. Give myself another knife. Oh, right in his neck. Then you pick it back up, actually, when you step over the corpse of the person you just killed. See, so yeah, I just sniped this guy. And the knife is there to pick up again. Sometimes it stays stuck in their neck, sometimes it just floats there, but 
you get the picture. Anyway, um, I'll wrap this up. If you want to know anything more about the mods, I'm going to include links to the mods in the description. Uh, it'll be on our website. Also, I'd like to mention that uh, the mods are PC only. You can't install these on your consoles. It just won't happen. Uh, it doesn't even have the hardware to run it to begin with. Like, you can see I'm having issues with this, and I've got a pretty decent computer. Um, P PS3, you know, and Xbox, it's really old hardware. You'd never get the mods to run, even if you could install them properly. So, uh, this was Nick with Fraxial Gaming, and, uh, you know, if you got a good PC, install these mods. Anyways, take care, everyone.